Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with another Black Ops sniping gameplay commentary. No, I am not reusing old gameplay videos. This is just another solid game I had with the PSG-1 on the new map discovery part of the first strike dlc for call of duty black ops i assure you that is not what i'm doing this is a different score you can even go back and check if you want this one's a bit quicker it's just the standard ground war tdm i believe it's only about five and a half minutes so we only have a short amount of time together here today but a few things i want to get out there and get get you guys updated on and as the title of the video implies, there are changes, perhaps, coming to the sniper class in Call of Duty Black Ops. I have been, like I say in a couple of my videos, I have been posting on the Call of Duty official forums, the Black Ops forums on uh, Treyarch's website, or they are run by Treyarch, and David Vonderhaar, uh, the lead developer, posts on the forums and apparently reads some of the threads for suggestions and and some some criticisms and apparently jd2020 i know a bunch of you are not really a big fan of that guy and don't worry neither am i but apparently both of them are on there and they read it and there has been a lot of ruckus going on recently on the threads about the sniper rifle some of it caused by me i'm not gonna lie some of it caused by me but there's been a lot of stuff going on, and finally, there's a thread, and I'm going to link it in, t in the description. It's a long one. There's like 40 pages of just posts and rebuttals and stuff like that. And But, but Vaughn has apparently, or that's the handle he goes by, has apparently read this thread and, and responded to it, and apparently he is going to be taking some changes or ideas for changes to the sniper class to his development team for possible implementation i believe probably in the next title update i don't know what they hate what they can hot fix what they cannot hot fix i don't know if they're prepared to make that kind of sweeping change via a hot fix or what i i don't know uh you know frankly i don't even know what a hot fix is so i'm not gonna lie but i know a hot fix is not a title update so it's either going to be a hot fix or a title update i don't know but apparently there are changes that are coming or possible changes that are coming now, the reason I let you guys know about that is n not because I want to, like I said in my introductory video where I said I want to become known as, as a vocal person in the community. I'm not trying to toot my own horn there. What I want you to do, if you want to at all, okay, remember that. If you want to at all, I'm not saying you have to. I'm not saying I want you to. Think about the issue. Think about how much you want to invest into it. If you're not really that invested in sniping in Black Ops, then don't. No big deal. It really doesn't matter all that much, but if you are somewhat invested in sniping and black ops and you are invested in the practice and you do have fun with it and you want it to be at least on par with sniping in other Call of Duty titles uh, you know, from distant past and, and recent history, what I think you should do or could do if you want is go to that thread uh, because we do know that Vaughn has been reading it, or apparently has been reading it, go into that thread and tell them what you want. I'm not going to tell you what you should say. I'm not going to tell you what you want. I will tell you what I want. What I want is the off-center scope, and as somebody pointed out to me in the thread I linked to, uh, the, the off-center scope and the force sway, that initial jerk that we see, that you cannot, upon scoping in, that you cannot combat in any way aside from drag scoping, that is just the recentering of the crosshairs on the sniper rifle from that off-center scope. So really getting rid of one of either the off-center scope or the initial sway will be getting rid of the other because one is dependent up, up, upon the other. So they're not individual mechanisms as I, as, as I have previously treated them. But what I want is those two things gone, and I want the initial or the spread ADS timer gone. I can, I can make cases for the inclusion of sleight of hand pro augmentation. I'm not going to at this juncture, but I just, I can, but I won't. Uh, damage view kick is another thing, but I'm willing to concede that because it will seem like we're like asking for way too much. But for me, it's off-center scope and thusly uh, initial sway and the uh, spread ADS timer. And basically, what this sums up is it comes down to is, you know, I want the scope to come up. I want the center of the crosshairs to be at the center of my hip fire spread. 
When I bring the crosshairs up, I want the crosshairs to be at the center of that spread. And when I see the crosshairs, whenever I see the crosshairs, the bullet should go to the center of the crosshairs. That, uh, anything else is just counterintuitive. So go ahead and check that out. Also, be on the lookout. Um, again, like I said, for the changes possibly coming up to the sniper class, I will keep you guys updated as I can. And also an open lobby coming up this weekend that will be later on this week, probably Saturday. I, I will let you guys know in the comments. We're going to try, try to do it again. So open lobby coming up. Be sure to check that out. I am out of time, guys. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. We'll see you next time. I am out.